Hello guys, welcome back to another codingbat.com tutorial. Today we will be doing Array 2, Exercise 0 Max. The problem says return a version of the given array where each zero value in the array is replaced by the largest odd value to the right of the zero in the array. If there is no odd value to the right of the zero, leave the zero as a zero. So, what we want to do is we want to look at each zero and um, looking at the zero, replace it with whichever um, odd value is, whichever odd value to the right of it is the greatest. So if we look at the first example here, uh, this first zero here, um, the only two odd values to the right of it are five and three. And because the largest odd value between the two is five, we convert the zero to five, as you can see here. Um, whereas this zero, the only odd value to the right of that is three. So it gets changed to three here. Um, if we look at the second example, the only odd value to the right of this zero is three, because four is not a odd value. So we change that zero to three, and we change this zero to three as well. Um, in this last example, this zero is changed to one because that is the largest odd value to the right of it. However, this last zero is not changed to one because there are no odd values to the right of it. So what do we know from these examples? Well, we know that any zero that is last will not be changed no matter the circumstances because there will be no numbers to the right of it. So if we create a for loop, we want to make sure it doesn't go all the way to the end, but rather to the second to the last. And then if the number we are looking at is equal to zero, then um, we want to run through the entire array again to see what is the largest odd value to the right of it. So we will be creating a temporary placeholder called max, which will later represent the maximum odd number to the right of that zero. But for now, we'll set it equal to zero. And then for int, we'll change the variable to j is equal to i. Now, we don't want to start all the way back at zero because we want to start exactly where we left off or exactly where the zero is. Um, so in, for example, if the first val, if the first number in an array is one, we don't want to go all the way back to the one, but rather, uh, start from, uh, the zero we were looking at. So J is equal to I J is less than nums dot now. This time it is okay to go all the way to the end of the array because if let's like in this case, um, there's an odd value to the right of that. We want to check for those odd values as well. If so here we check if the number is odd or even, how do we know that? If it is not divisible by two, then we will set that maximum odd value to um, this cool handy trick. So what this function here does, math.max, is it will take two arguments, two number arguments, and it will determine or return which number is the greater of the two. So in this case, we're checking, is the odd number we were just looking at greater than the number we already have for that max odd, max odd value? If it is, then we change. If it isn't, then we keep it the same. Then, once we've found out that new odd, that maximum odd value, we change that zero to equal that odd value. 
and then finally we will return this modified array. Now if we try running it, we got all correct.